When you're in a pinch for something to cook, maybe you've got a party coming up and you've no time at all, why not try this beautiful meaty dish? It's filling and comes together with no effort whatsoever. Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna bring you another delicious Polish recipe. It is so simple, it's full of meat, it's full of flavor and you can feed an army with it. It takes no time at all. We're gonna be making some delicious cloves. Or, if you want to be fancy, a Roman roast. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. The first thing I'm going to do is to soak my bread in some milk. This has been sitting out overnight, so it's nice and stale. But I'm going to break it up a little bit, just with my hands. Just into smaller pieces to kind of help it soak up a little bit. You could soak it in water as well if you want, but I think the milk will bring a nice richness to the cloves. And I'm going to let it sit while I work on the rest of my ingredients. Into a frying pan, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of oil. It's on a low heat and I'm gonna add in my onions. I'm also gonna go in with my grated garlic here and my chopped mushrooms. And I'm gonna let this cook down until it's nice and soft, probably anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. I'm gonna give this a quick stir and then add a little bit of salt for seasoning. Right, my onions and mushrooms are all nice and soft now. I love the smell you get from it. So now I'm gonna move this over to a bowl to let it cool down a little bit. All right, while my onions and mushrooms cool, I'm gonna continue with the rest of my ingredients. My bread is nicely soaked now, but I need to get rid of any excess liquid, so I'm just gonna put them through a colander. Now I need to work with my eggs. I've got some boiled eggs here, and all I'm going to do is take off about a centimeter from the top, and also from the back. What I'm trying to achieve is that when I put my eggs side by side, they have nice contact between each other, and there's no gaps because of the oval shape of the top of the egg. So this is that with all of them. I've got five all together. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add in my meat. I've got some beef mints and some pork mints. I'm gonna add in some margarine for flavor. Crack in an egg. This will help to bind everything together. I've got some mustard here and salt and pepper. I'm gonna add in now my soaked bread and my mushrooms, which are now nice and cooled. And now I'm gonna mix it all together with a wooden spoon. I'm not getting to the right consistency with the wooden spoon, so I'm gonna have to go in with my hands. They're nice and clean, don't worry. Also, this helps to feel the consistency of the mixture, so you know whether it's too wet or too dry. My mixture is a little bit too wet, so I've got some dried breadcrumbs that I'm gonna add in here until I get the right consistency. You can roll a little ball, and if it looks like it's gonna hold its shape, that's when you know you're there. And that's all right for me, so we're ready to mold it. I've got a bread loaf pan here, it's about 26 centimeters in length. So I'm gonna go in with a layer of my meat mixture at the bottom. And I'm gonna flatten this down a little bit. You want to make sure you're filling in all the corners. Once it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna make a little groove in the middle. And in here, I'm gonna add in my eggs. And then we cover up the rest. I'm gonna do the sides first so the eggs don't move and then just fill out the rest. So you can see I could have done with a couple of extra eggs, but it'll be fine like this. This mixture won't expand or anything like that in the oven. In fact, it might shrink a little bit, so feel free to get it nice and compact and really fill up to the very top. So now I'm gonna sprinkle it with some breadcrumbs to get a nice crispy top. And once it's all nicely covered, I'm gonna put it into the oven at 180 degrees for 40 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 75 degrees. It's time, let's have a look at our clubs. It looks perfect and it smells fantastic. I did put a tray underneath because juices were starting to kind of seep out the top and I didn't want to make a mess in the oven, so I suggest you do the same. We need to let it cool just enough that we can handle it, then we can mold it, plate it up and give it a try. Right, so my tin is full of juice now, so we have to kind of drain that out because I'm going to serve it hot. If you wanted to eat this cold, you can actually let it sit in the juices, which will jellify nicely and it will be delicious. I'm just going to pull mine apart. And careful not to burn yourself, obviously. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer it to my serving dish. Success. Let me cut myself a slice. And that's it, our beautiful clubs. Okay, it's time to give it a try. It smells delicious. I am starving, so I know it's gonna be amazing. Let's just get to it. It's beautiful. Mm. It's so meaty, there's such an intense flavor, the onions and the mushrooms really bring something special to it. Oh, it's a beautiful texture as well, it's nice and soft, and the top is nice and crispy also. It's a fantastic little dish. 
You could have it with mashed potato, you were having it for dinner, or if you let it go cold, you can have it with some bread. This keeps in the fridge for a better week. These type of recipes are just fantastic. There's no effort involved, no skill, and it's delicious. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big like, a comment below with your thoughts, and share it with all of your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and if you tried this or any of my previous dishes and want to post them on Instagram, please tag me. I love to see how you guys get on. With that, I'll leave you for this video, and enjoy.